Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven, seven. Good Ravens fam. So before I before I start this video off, I want to give a shout out to Mrs. Nana Rave. Shout out to Miss Nana Rave uh, for sending me the video um, about Lamar. Now, I know y'all probably seen her, already know what video I'm talking about, but for those who do not know, um, video pre uh, the video is pretty much Lamar just admitting he just, he trolled y'all. He just literally trolled y'all. Lamar trolling y'all. Okay, my apologies for the little edits and everything. My little princess keep coming in here. All right, but... <laughs> Yeah, Lamar just pretty much saying he having fun, you know, he's uh, having fun, but here, here's a quick clip of the video. Uh, you know, I I say, you know, I already came to the league, you know, coming into Baltimore, all the same guy I am, you know, even five years later, you know, I, I never changed. I didn't want to be nobody, uh, be another person or bigger than, bigger than the next person, you know, I always wanted to be myself and just wanted to be grounded and let the community, you know, immune to me, you know, just... It's like, okay, yeah, I can relate to him, you know, and I can be that guy, you know, when I get older and stuff like that to the younger generation and younger kids and stuff like that. Um, but it's a great organization, you know, um, very, very player-friendly um, organization. Uh, and I love being here. I, always, I tweeted it before, like, you know, this this where I want to be at. So now I'm seeing things like, oh, he, he wants out because I'm liking stuff. It's just, yeah, because I see y'all keep engaging in that in that way. Like, oh, you want to leave? So I'm like, all right, I'm going to play back. Okay, yeah, I like something. <laughs> You know, so let me t shooting the st shooting my shots. You know, on um, on social media because they they like doing it to me, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fooling y'all now. I was fooling y'all. Those was jokes. Woo! Woo! <laughs> So Lamar just saying, you know, he's just having he's having fun with it. He's having fun this uh this off season and everything. Um but he also, you know, he said uh he wants he wants to uh on a serious note, he wants to uh, be more, you know, put his voice out there more, be that be that head honcho as we all know he is. But uh he also said in that uh video that he got in it he got to uh he told the wide receivers hey let's meet up let's get this thing going you know and a lot of them did we know who uh some of them are uh i believe dev maybe came one or twice but we know mark andrews and we know Bateman, when they pro um i think even benjamin victor went to one of his things but um yeah so we know that but it's just uh, it's just a trip that he even said, like I said, I don't want to go anywhere. I want to stay in Baltimore. Like even he's like, what else proof do you need other than from my mouth saying I want to stay? But I guess a lot of people went when Kyrie Irving was with Boston. We need proof. You need, you want you you want to stay in. Lamar's always been a man of his word. So, once he said that, I was like, I know he ain't going. I know he ain't going nowhere. It's just the fact that the Ravens haven't, you know, given him the amount, whatever amount that is that he wants. I believe it might be a reasonable amount because if you look at everything he has done since becoming a Raven, it's there. Only thing he has not done is won the Super Bowl yet. But we know it's going to happen. So, whatever that amount is, they're going to negotiate it. Or Mama Jackson is going to negotiate that, as I said in my other video. But I do like the fact that Lamar is just having fun with this, having fun interacting. And he showed, he sh he showed by him just liking. And he knows this. That's what makes it so funny. Like him just liking a picture. That can become a story on ESPN or FS1. Like they would sit there and talk about NFL Network. They would sit there and talk about this man liking a picture. 
of him in another jersey, which we know that don't really mean a lot. We've seen plenty of free agent players this year and the previous years. Like them photoshops of them in a Baltimore Ravens jersey and they don't go. We know it. But Lamar, he just having fun with it. And I get that. It's, it's funny. It's funny. You know what I'm saying? It's funny. But he also said one thing, one more thing. And I caught that interesting too. Even the guy was like, we breaking news over here. Because I was like, oh. So, uh, uh, who, who did we play? Uh, Tennessee. I want to say Tennessee preseason game. Uh, Nick Boyle, our other tight end, he, he walked up to me. Like, man, he put to that mark with uh, the wild dog chain. I'm like, bro, you know, I thought about that. Like, I just, it just hit my brain. Like, I got to let Mark rock the chain, too. So, when we played, uh, what, uh, who we played? Arizona? Arizona, Tennessee. Who we played? Arizona, Washington, when he had it on. Tennessee, Arizona. Yeah. Arizona, Washington. Yeah. I don't really remember. But, yeah, like, one of those games, I'm like, man, I can't forget. I got to let Mark wear this chain, you know? So, the game came up, let Mark rock the chain. You know, that's just what it was. <laughs> So was that your chain that he wore? Was that a gift that you gave him? Well, I... No, it was, it was mine. It was mine. It was mine. Okay. We won the Super Bowl. Probably going to get him a chain. Me and Coach Harbaugh already told him that. So, so, so they asked him about that, the, the uh, wild dog chain, African wild dog chain that Mark Andrew was uh, rocking in preseason. I think it was preseason Arizona, maybe. I think even Lamar didn't even remember on the, uh, you know, on the video. But, yeah, so that, <clears throat> he said if they win a Super Bowl, he has told Mark Andrews and Harbs that he would give them a chain, pretty much the same one like he has. That is awesome. I'm like, man, but he's going to have to get into the whole offensive, offensive line and everything. But he might get offensive line so way better than the chain. He might get him, you know, multiple choice or whatever. That's Because I remember uh, there's an old story. Deion Sanders did that. He told them that. All right. My apologies again, y'all, for the little edit. Princess came in here again. But as I was saying, <laughs> Deion Sanders once did that. I believe he told them. When he did the special teams, he said, if I score, I will buy everybody on special teams. I believe he said a Rolex or like $10,000 or something like that. And he said they was going, they was knocking people's heads out for that. And he actually scored the touchdown and kept his word. That's just a little little side, little story, which is funny to me. Um, but, yeah, so... The deadline is today. Um, might be probably. He kept. He said probably. So we don't. We don't know. Um, but yeah. So I'm not really tripping on it. Um, I know some people is like stressing over it, but just you know, he's gonna. He's he's a raven. Like he's a raven for life. He's gonna have a statue out there. You know what I'm saying? So we we know this. It's it's just chill. You know, he's going to he's, he's gonna get paid. He's going to reset the market. I know, uh, shout out to Cole Jackson. He put out a tweet uh, saying, I believe Lamar is going to go over like 10,000 yards or something like that. Passing, um, I forgot, like 4,000 rushing, something, something in that nature, something like that. But, um, you know, also, I put my little two cents in there. Um, you know, He's gonna he put in there he's gonna win the Super Bowl and everything this year, and I believe that. But um also just he's gonna reset the QB market. I know a lot of people is concentrating on the well Russell Wilson, you know, he Russell Wilson messed it up and that Russell Wilson I believe is 32, 33 years old. Yeah, he's up there in age. Lamar's not close to that age yet. Yeah, so just just think about that. Like, come on now. Like, Russell Wilson is up there in age. This is Lamar's first contract. I believe that was Russell's third contract, I believe. So, and you know, he's up there in age. So, that says it all. But this is just the, the, the beginning. 
because I think after he signs this contract, it matters the years. There could be a possibility that's what's slowing the contract down to is the years. I know that's a, a lot of play in that. I know some people say, you know, uh, what's that? What's that dude for the cowgirls? Cowboys, girl, girls. Um, man, Dak. I know, you know. And we know what happened with his leg, but he still got paid. And what happened with that situation, you know, I'm in Texas, so I was looking at it. I don't care for the team, but it was interesting that I believe around the time he wanted to sign, it was like 30-something was the cap. The Cowboys, like, nah, we ain't really feeling that. Then next thing you know, the cap went over with the amount that he wanted. So possibility that could have happened with the Ravens. Lamar told him amount. It was like, mm, nah, we ain't really feeling that. Next thing you know, it's higher than what the amount was previously, what Lamar requested because the other quarterbacks signed. So we don't know. But that's something to think about. But yes, just want to go just, just uh, did a little video real quick for y'all. Everybody stay safe. God bless. Hit that like, hit that share, and you already know. Stay safe.